friends welcome to the channel physics by iitians we are back with another interview question and this question is extremely important in understanding the basic concept of physics the question is if planck constant were smaller than it is how this affect the size of atoms in this video we will thoroughly understand the planck constant the physics behind the planck constant the measurement of planck constant and all the physics behind the planck constant so before starting the video we have an announcement that you can take the benefit of our online test series where you can find the three schemes and you can choose accordingly and the cost have been kept minimum for your benefits only so let's start the video we all know the value of planck constant is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second now the question is what will be the effect if it good if it get changed now see here the what actually Planck constant represents. Planck constant represents a handful of constants in the binding energy between a proton electron where the variables of the electron distance and wave interference are separated as a variable of photon frequency. Means here frequency of photon is related to the Planck constant. Here the energy of the electron is related to Planck constant. Energy of the atoms is related to Planck constant. So everything will be somehow modified if the Planck constant is changed. So what will be the effect? So first of all the effect on the uncertainty. We all know that the quantum uncertainties that is Heisenberg uncertainty that is delta x into delta px is greater than equals to h cross by 2. So this quantity will be smaller if the Planck constant get reduced. So a smaller Planck constant would allow atoms to be smaller. Uncertainties are smaller so the atoms will be also smaller because everything the MBR equals to n into h cross. So everything will be smaller with this h amount uh, the, with the effect of the redu reduction in the h amount. Now what will happen if the Planck constant is zero. So if the Planck constant is zero, there will be no uncertainty in position and momentum. So we can measure position and momentum simultaneously at any arbitrary precision we need. Okay. So there will be no quantum effects and Newtonian mechanics or classical regime will work there and everything would be so predictable, continuous and smooth. Nothing will be discrete. Now the energy of the photon is how much? E equals to h nu. So this photon energy will go also get changed. Now what is Planck constant? Planck constant is one of the smallest constant used in the physics. The Planck constant is only relevant in the microscopic scale instead of the macroscopic scale in our everyday experience. And what Planck constant assures? The Planck constant assures the fact that everyday objects and systems are made of a large number of microscopic quant particles. Okay. So let us take an example to know this fact very clearly. Suppose we are taking the green light. So wavelength of green light. Green light means our eyes perceive it as green. Someone has told you that this is green. That's why you are telling this is green. Someone has told you this is red. That's why you are thinking this is red. So this our colors are all our perception of our mind. Someone if from the childhood the green is taught to be black or the black is taught to be red. Then we will think that this is red. This is green. So that is the perception of our mind that the eyes can adopt this green light. Thus at the wavelength of wavelength that is the 555 nanometer. So at the wavelength we are taking that is 555 nanometer for the green light. Now we will find out the frequency. So frequency is 540 terahertz or 540 to 10 to the power 12 hertz. Now how much uh, energy each photon carries? Each photon has energy e equals to hf or h nu that is 3.58 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule. So this is very small amount of energy we do not experience right 3.58 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule so how much smaller it is now suppose how much energy we actually uh, amount of energy we actually experience let us focus on it so an amount of light more typical in everyday experience is the energy of one mole of photons like its energy can be computed by multiplying the photon energy by the Avogadro number Na 
that is 6.02214076 into 10 to the power 23 mole inverse. It results 216 kilojoule per mole. So this is the food stuff or food energy in three apples. Okay, if you take almost three apples, the approximate energy is 216 kilojoule per mole. So we can, we uh, actually we experience typical everyday experience this much amount we can experience. Now, how do you determine the Planck constant? The Planck constant can be determined by examining the spectrum of a black body radiator or from the kinetic energy of photoelectrons. This value was first calculated in the early 20th century and no longer the most, but this is no longer the most accurate method. Now, current practices to determine the Planck constant is Josephson constant, Faraday effect constant, magnetic resonance, X-ray crystal density, particle accelerator, cable balance, etc. Okay, so you understand that the change in the Planck constant is totally microscopic, not macroscopic, and it will change on the photon energy. It will change on the momentum uncertainty principle. That is, it it will be uh, only applicable to the quantum mechanical regime, and the atoms for the uh, from the atoms point of view. The Planck constant will surely, if it get uh, reduced, then the smaller Planck constant would allow atoms to be smaller. Okay. So, friends, if you like this video, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, join our Telegram channel Physics by Ideas for regular quizzes and research papers. Take the benefit of online test series. All links are available in the description box. Thank you again.